What up everyone, Anthony here with a special devlog. Um, I'm gonna try something completely different instead of uh, doing those five to 10 videos where I pre-scripted the devlog, I'm gonna basically live record it. Uh, so I don't need to edit uh, and I don't need to cut and I don't need to paste audio and I don't need to do anything. I just need to record, upload the video. And aha, there is my island. I was testing the spawn rate of islands uh, before I'm gonna start with the task at hand which is style it's basically uh, creating a style an art style for the game in substance painters uh, like you can see right now uh, there is no style it's just prototype stuff um, the sails or um, they have just a special shader that can render two faces instead of one because it's a plane um, let me quickly go to this island uh, and before we do the task at hand like these crates right we're gonna take the new model crate and we're gonna test our art style on that one. Uh, the goal is to make an, um, a base material, a base smart material in Substance Painter where all the other assets can uh, extend from. Um, so I have the consistent style. It's very important to have something consistent. It's also very important, especially for me because I'm an indie developer, I'm all alone and I need to texture things fast. Um, a lot of respect for the pixel artists, which basically handcrafted every single pixel by color. Uh, it's insane. Um, kudos to you guys, but uh, I, I, I can't. I really can't. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, but first, I'm gonna show you this island. Uh, people that didn't watch the previous devlogs, um, so you can see the look and feel of an island uh, along with the sea. Uh, pretty important. We're almost there. Maybe I can speed up the ship. Uh, Wind Jamer. Um, wait a minute. Un momento, por favor. Speed this guy up. And it's so good to basically start um, playing the game from the editor instead of making a build because I was recording my videos with the Nvidia thing. But now, with OBS, I can basically record my whole screen, which is noise. So we're just gonna crash into this thing. As you can see, this basically, let's uh, drop the seals. Okay, cool. So you see, this is the, the, the trees, uh, which I already had. I didn't make them myself. Um, I bought a package, um, which are stylized trees. I'm very happy with them. I, I modified the colors and everything. Uh, I modified the shader uh, to my own needs. Uh, but guys, like making trees, that's bad news, man. Uh, <laughs> we're not going to start that one. Um, then the game will never be finished. I'm going to make everything myself. Um, Except the trees, <laughs> except the trees. So yeah, it's not too realistic. It's not too cartoonish. And that's basically the style I'm aiming for. Um, yeah, just a quick recap before we start and no worries for the people that are watching and wanna um, see the stylized stuff, which I'm, what I'm gonna do in Substance Painter, you can just click the marks um, on the timeline and then jump straight to into it. So what I've done, um, in the previous devlog, I mentioned that this is not gonna be a feature intensive week. However, as you can see, I coded myself a hotbar. I uh, made the inventory drag and drop. I also made the health bar uh, deplete over time, which is a small survival element of the game. And um, you can drag usable items, which are uh, an item type in the game uh, that you can use. Uh, like a vase is a resource. Uh, you cannot use a vase. It's used to trade in trading posts. But mangoes and barracudas, um, you can use, so you can drag them into the inventory and then you can cycle through them. I have no model for the barracuda, so yeah, it is what it is. Um, and then you can eat them. Um, yeah, you can eat them. And then the health uh, restores itself uh, based on the value um, on the item, the health restore value on the item. So that's what I did. Uh, there is a lot of work uh, that needs to be done on the inventory because you cannot drag from here to here and um, also gonna make ship storage in these chests, in the new chest, which also is an inventory and yeah, drag and dropping in, uh, across all these inventories is a mess. And um, that would be something nice for a next devlog life coding thing where we, instead of doing art, we can go into code and fix that. Cool. So let's stop this. Uh, the task at hand is basically this uh, blender chest that I made. It's gonna be the base loot crate uh, that's gonna float in the sea, which you can harpoon up and uh, loot is in there, all Gucci stuff. 
And I'm gonna use that um, as a first victim to test our art style on it. Cool. I hope this video is not gonna take too long. I don't know, maybe 20, 30 minutes, whatever. Let's go right into it. Um, substance Painter, okay, cool. So what I do is uh, first, and wrap the UVs, that's already been done. I don't wanna uh, hurt your eyes, guys. I don't wanna do it uh, new. Yeah, I'm using this uh, HD render pipeline thing. However, I'm using the universal pipeline. Doesn't really matter. Um, selecting Look Great V2, boom. Bam, cool. Uh, delete this. Then we're gonna bake. Bake mesh maps. Okay, uh, let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. Ah, <coughs> oh, damn, I fucked it up. This one. This one. I <laughs> never had a bake so fast as this one, so when that happens, something is wrong. Okay, let's go again. Let's go again. looking much better. Okay, let's see. The first thing, the first thing you always should do before you're doing stuff in Substance Painter is check your curvature map. Yeah, that looks fine. Most of the time what I do, um, is basically quickly create uh, a layer uh, at a black mask at a generator curvature. What's this? Make it red, and as you can see, uh, you see the edges and the curves and everything, and well, this looks off. To be honest. Okay, whatever, looks kind of good. Um, yeah, baking the perfect curvature map, baking the perfect things won't happen in your life. Trust me, it's, 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 it's fake news, guys, it's fake news. Okay, let's start. So, like I mentioned, I'm not gonna make, uh, what I mean is I'm, I'm not gonna make it too cartoonish, also not gonna make it too realistic. Something stylized, which is pretty hipster these days, and uh, something stylized, a very good base, uh, which basically is very simple steps, right? It's uh, some weathering gradient, it's uh, ambient occlusion, lighting edges, uh, maybe, maybe some uh, baked lighting, I'm not quite sure. And uh, maybe some color variants, we need to see. Uh, I'm gonna do it in a way that's non-destructive and also in a way that's scalable for um, for later use. Because um, I see a lot of people. You will, you will, you will see what I mentioned by this. So let's just start and shut up. Uh, fill layer. Let's call this the base color, right? Um, base color. We don't need height, metal, or normals. Um, rough. Let's do it one base color. Should we already pick the chest color or should we just do something very fancy? Um, yeah, let's pick the chest color, why not? Uh... Oh yeah. Why not? Why not? Okay, we have the base color, that's good. Then I group this. And then it's gonna be the last wind jammer. Stylized. Cool. First thing we're gonna do. Make this lighting better, better. Nice. So we can see what we're doing, right? Um, let's start with um, 
Yeah, let's let's start with the with the weathering gradient. Why not? Uh, so let's call this uh, gradient. Yeah, gradient is fine enough. Uh, black mask. Black masks all the things. Pass through. Generator. Um, position. Yeah. Thank you. There's a lot of ways you can do the the weathering gradient. Like when you see in stylized objects, it's a lot of. Uh, gradient that comes up from the top, but most likely from the bottom. Um, you can use like it. Uh, we can use a, a position generator for this. Um, instead of color picking, which you can never do, you should uh, in in a, in a fill layer. You should always use the HSL thing, like this. That's what I do at least. Um, I'm using the HSL, and instead of uh, adjusting the color, I'm using the sliders. As you can see, like this, it uses, instead of a color, it uses the, the base color and then we tint it uh, more dark. Uh, not too dark, a little dark, okay? As you can see, it's good, but we need to readjust uh, like this. Uh, look at this, we're done. We can, we can quit. Um, most of the time, Nothing much needs to happen, to be honest, because it's it's already very important is that you always change lighting a lot of times because it can give like wrong effects if you keep your light at the same position uh, from angle to angle. Okay, cool. Um, this may be too harsh, right? I think the color. I think the color is, 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 is fine. It's just a little bit too harsh. You can adjust this in the balance. I hope. Oh, what the fuck is this? We cannot change this a lot because, as you can see, these. Not sure if you can see it, but. I like it. It's a 0 0.7. Just remember this. This is too much. It's too light. Too much. Yeah, I think this is good enough. A lot of the time, it's a lot of playing with uh, with the sliders until it feels good. There is really nothing wrong or right, to be honest. It's yeah. Okay, the gradient. Um, yeah, gradient is fine. Uh, repeat, rinse and repeat. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. The next thing, maybe some ambient occlusion. Um, ambient occlusion. Yes, ambient occlusion. Always good. Black mask. Uh, like usual, generator, like usual, ambient occlusion, HSL. Oh my god, I fucked it up. Ambient occlusion, HSL, pass through. Cool. Yeah, let's see. Wait, let's just check if this. We don't need every this bullshit. Ambient occlusion. Okay, cool. So, ambient occlusion is. What the hell is this? All right. Now we're Gucci. Now we're talking. So, ambient occlusion basically makes um, all the around the curvature. It basically makes shadows um, around the cur around the around the edges in, in, in deep um, in deep edges and, and stuff. So in these. In these corners it's pretty nice but you cannot overdo it very important um, 
Although, although, I never use black, by the way. So we cannot use white, that's definitely uh, a thing. We should take something brownish, um, a little darker. Actually, to be, to be, um, to be pinpoint, pinpoint precise, you should use some complementary color in the, the, on the other side of the color wheel. But um, making a, using a darker tint of the color of the base color uh, you're using is also very good. And that's the reason why I'm using with these um, HSL sliders instead of manipulating the fill layers, the color of the fill layers. Because if you want to change the base color like this, you see, then everything just works uh, like a charm, right? So let's say this tealish thing, as you can see, um, our gradient works perfectly fine, our weathering gradient. See, perfectly fine. And then our ambient occlusion will also work perfectly fine. So it's also very nice to change colors, like very bright, fairly saturated colors to test all your stuff because it can give you a different, your eye. If you keep watching the same color over and over, your eye is getting trained on, on these things. And uh, it's not Gucci, it's not Gucci. So what are we doing? Ambient occlusion. Um, First the color, right? So it needs to be darker, but not too dark. Take something like this is pretty good. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think the color is fine. Now it's just a balance of this ambient occlusion. I'm gonna adjust um, here. Come on, man. Not too much. I like those uh, deep, deep shadows. And game engines uh, have these options also, right? You have in Unity the option to do ambient occlusion, which basically does the same. So if you have this on your on your on all your assets, it's already it's already a win. Yeah, I like this. Can also come back and change it to be honest, but maybe it's uh, like I said, there is no good, there is no wrong. It's it's up to you. That's the beauty of art. You're the boss. There are no, there are no mistakes. Only little happy accidents. Cool. Ambient occlusion done. Yeah, it's done. Next thing, uh, lightning on the curves. Um, typical, typical stylized uh, mechanic. Typical stylized mechanic is. Um, Lighten the edges, except the lighting, except the lighting. So same thing, black mask, pass through. Generator. Curvature. Curvature. Yes. And again, same thing. Look at my life, so easy. Um, yeah, so now for the curvature, I have a tip. What I do is, it's perfectly fine. What I do first is basically turn off this balance. Um, wait, um, give me this. So make it light, completely light, go to the curvature and then adjust the balance first. So you can see um, the edges. So this is basically sometimes your, your Curvature map looks like this, if you're a shitty map like me. Uh, and it's basically way overused, right? But just find something that highlights all your edges. Look at that. Because uh, if you, you see, some edges are basically fading away. Find a value that highlights all the edges. <laughs> this is broken. I don't know what this is. Uh, whatever. Let's render the chest only from one side only. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So do this first, and then and then you go to the sliders, and then you can make it more subtle. Look at this. This looks very very nice. I'm gonna lie. I really love it. Maybe it's a little bit too harsh. Uh, 
Actually, hey. Holding shift. Yes. Yes, look at this. Um... Yeah. Beautiful. Maybe a little bit too much. A little bit too much. I think the color is good. Yeah, it's, it's only a little bit lighter. You see this? It's like 0 0.5 is the equilibrium. Um, the balance actually... Hmm. I think I'm gonna keep it to be honest. Uh, if you if you're basically in doubt, change the color. Tip, another tip. Change the color. Change it. Brown. Brown chest. Oh yeah, Whew. look at this color, I like it. And this chest already looks a lot better than what we have, right? So basically these simple steps, and I'm not done yet, I'm not done. Look at this chest, it's already much better than this. Where is it? And this piece of garbage here, right? Look at this. Look at this texture. You should fire me. All right, <coughs> back to business. Uh, basically, that, that, that other crate was just a, a simple uh, blender export with uh, <laughs> just for testing prop, uh, proportions, to be honest, and then dropped uh, a smart material on it for the sake of not having it uh, look like a, a concrete thing. Yeah, I think that this looks fine. Maybe, maybe a little bit too much. And the question rather is, make, are we making the curvature less white or are we going to adjust the color? That's the question. Probably make it more worse than it was, to be honest. Come on, 25, yeah. Oh yeah, look at this, this is subtle. This is so subtle, this is perfect actually. Look at this, perfect, butchy. Okay, the next step. Basically for this gradient, what you could do also is, um, but it's not gonna work, is uh, multiply it. But um, as you can see, then it's gone has to do with the layers and it's it's all good to have this um, just pass throughing and the reason for that is we're using the same color what I mean by that is we're using the same um, darkened version of the color and then it all works just fine as you can see a little bit of a better effect why not gradient whatever you want to call it next step uh, we could try some baked lighting I'm not a big fan of baked lightning but um, yeah I'm not a big fan but we can try um, something else we can do first bef so we, before we do the baked lightning is um, this should be dumb Anyway, let's 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 add big lighting. Let's just shut up and add big lighting. Don't do stupid things. Big lightning. Um, this is awful, right? The thing is, soft light, and then basically turn it down. I'm not a big fan. 
there are another another tricks. You can basically adjust everything for this big lightning in, in the settings each. Like more intensity and stuff, but even the position of the sun and everything. But uh, let's just adjust this perfectly. I'm gonna turn it off for now. Big lightning. I'm not a big fan of it. It's it's it's, it, it's not needed. Also, I mean, uh, what we can do is do some color variation. And the question I'm always asking myself before I do this is, um, should I do this for every object or not? And that's the question. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this big lightning. Get the fuck out of here. Cool. I don't like it. Like big, big lighting is, it, it's always good for renders and everything, but for in a game asset, you will never no noticing, you're never gonna notice it because the light, the lightning of the game is also still there. And uh, it, for me, it's more of a post-process thing for rendering. Okay, um, let's try to add the color variation in this thing. And then the patterns of the chest should be, of the crate rather, should be uh, outside of the stylized material before recreating it. I think color, color variation is something nice. Maybe some uh, paint brushed stuff. So how, come, how, how am I gonna do this? Um, Folder, black mask, pass through. Uh, add fill. Pro two cells. Clouds. Yeah, clouds. Clouds, please. And the reason why this is uh, needs to be in here is so we can pass through the color. The base color, so we can inherit it and um, do it based of that instead of using, uh, again, instead of using a hard coded uh, color in a fill layer, to be honest. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, clouds. Wait, I'm thinking. Um, uh, okay, 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 okay. Sorry, sorry. I was, I was um, far away from home. Far away from home. The question is: Are we going to darken or lighten it? Um, let's turn. Yes, nice. It's good. Um, yeah. Lighten, darken. Darken, lighten, lighten, darken. Who knows? Uh, I'm using always three planar projection uh, just for the sake of forgiving my making mistakes. Okay, so the problem is you can overdo so hard, you can never stop. You can basically spent one month adding layers but i think a color color variation um, could be something very important but it needs to be very subtle 
Because right now it looks like a, a very dusty, very weathered crate. And I think a lot of objects can be like this, especially in the post apocalyptic setting, rather, in uh, The Last Windjammer. Um, yeah, let's first decide what we're gonna do. So we can either lighten or darken it. And we can have two layers to, for, to doing this a darken layer and a lighten layer. So I would do a equilibrium darker. Okay, subtle, very important. It's a bit of painting. You, you see, it's it's very very subtle and it's important. I cannot overdo this because if you want to have dust on the crate, we can we can use it outside of the stylized material. We can use it outside. Um, yeah, this looks already very good. The thing is, three planet is all good, good, good. Balance maybe, but the balance. Van is gonna help. Help. Whatever. Oh, yo. Shift. What we... Oh, you can do so much, man. We can even warp or blur, slow blur this thing and... Triple, quadruple. Quadruple doing it. Question is... When does it stop? I think it stops here, to be honest. I think this is nice. I love this. This is base. This is very, very base material. And the thing is, this is basically color variation. Color variation. Let's write it out. Yeah, please. If some objects don't need this thing, the color variation or we, we wanted something different that we can just turn it off right it's it's almost no difference for oh yeah it darkens it a little bit with some variation spots it's, it's very subtle but it is there um questionable questionable but I think this should uh, sum it up uh, for the material. I really like it. So let's just test it with something else. For example, I have, um, let's say, uh, what could, a bucket. And I wanna have a yellow bucket, right? So I take this thing, or something else, I don't know, a bucket, uh, at, uh, whatever, call it, you name it. Use your imagination, you see? And you have this, it's the same thing. And then we can uh, delete everything like this. And then this is basically Substance Painter for beginners, right? You just open it, color it. Gradient, subtle, ambient occlusion, pretty, pretty strong, I'm gonna lie, but I like it. Ambient occlusion, light and edges. Okay, light and edges, and then color variation. Maybe also weather effect, I don't know. It is what it is. The question rather is, is gradient, is this? Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, I'm happy with it. And the next step that we can do is instead, everything else, just make this a smart material. Uh, the next thing uh, you should do, basically, is um, everything else, that doesn't affect the color should be on top. 
before I wrap this up, uh, what I'm going to do with this chest later on, this was basically just for uh, creating the smart material, uh, which I can use for other for other uh, assets also uh, in the last wind jammer. But what I should do, what I would do uh, if I uh, finish this chest is create. Um, I will create a new group. I would call this base um, wooden base. What the hell is my capsule account? Please come on wooden base and I would mask out uh, the base these things because if you want to like, like for example um, let's make something very simple uh, black mask fill doesn't need to be uh, it should only be height what the hell come on bro um, Wait, add, add, add a layer, add a layer, add a layer. Filler inside this chest. Yeah, okay, cool. We disable everything. Except the height. We drop it down. Then we take this. Search for woods. Mm. Liquid. This one. Boom. Uh, am I messed something up? Wood. Let's do tri planners because it's because my money doesn't jiggle jiggle, you know. Um, did I pass with this? I don't know, whatever could be. Yeah, okay, cool. See, we have this. I'm just testing something real quick. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, first of all, rotate this 90 degrees. Boom. You see, and then I have this nice uh, wooden pattern. But of course, you cannot uh, integrate this in um, in the base material because not <laughs> everything is wood, you know. The thing is, um, for stylized assets, stylized art style, don't make it too realistic. And these patterns always uh, already make it uh, a little bit too more realistic in my uh, understanding, in my view. Uh, so it can be less need to be more subtle uh, something like this very subtle and then you can already see the problem is this one you see um, well, you, you, you see it just continues which is basically <laughs> bad news so we need to mask it out and uh, rotate the pattern on these ones and uh, how you can do that uh, yeah I'm not quite sure if I need to cover this but how I would do it is to uh, I would create a new Folders. I would create a new folder, um, add a black mask, uh, add a fill layer inside of this folder, uh, just for testing, yeah, yeah, I'll make it this, uh, whatever, whatever, maybe just a high, I don't know, and um, use Stingy, Polygon Fill to be honest. And just uh, mask it out, right? Like this. Hop, 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 hop. Hop, hop, hop. And Substance Painter sometimes doesn't register my clicks because I'm fast as fuck. So I need to wait a little bit. Alright. Um, what the hell happened here, to be honest? What the hell? Sometimes you don't need to ask questions. I, I, I did this when I was younger. I was questionable everything, but now I don't ask questions. I just accept. I accept everything what I see. And I, I just think about it in my own head. So now everything in this folder uh, will be, um, is masked. Oh shit, look at this. Um, this is an issue. However, however, maybe it's not an issue. Oh 
I don't think it's an issue. I don't think it's an issue. You could also invert it. Whatever. Um, let's just keep the height for this. What the fuck is wrong with this color, to be honest? Something happened, and I don't know what it is. Or did we have some stupid... Uh, Spooky. Okay, so then we have this masked out and then everything what happens in this layer will only reflect this one. So instead of... <clears throat> um, do something like this. Exactly. So voila. Uh, but yeah, just you know, you know what I mean. You know what I'm going right. You just need to reorganize this a little bit better. But uh, now, now this pattern is here, um, and uh, yeah, and then you need to do the same thing. You mask out, uh, or you take, you duplicate, and invert the mask, and uh, yeah, you do your, your your stuff. And that's how we build. A, that's how we're gonna build a more on top of this chest, but already like uh, how it looks. Voila. I hope you guys enjoyed this first new experiment. Um, it's somewhat of long, but uh, it's just it just uh, directly from life. It's no scripts, no cutting, no pasting, no wasting. Um, it's just uh, the way it is, and I hope you guys see that it's not always um, a smooth ride. Although this this was a basic task, and I'm kind of happy with it. But um, for some reason, these colors are... Each time I look at my monitor, this color is changing. I don't know what it is. I think it's time for some sleep, to be honest. What the hell? Look at this. This is much better, right? <laughs> I don't know what's going on, to be honest. Yeah. The stylized crate. All right. I hope you like it. Uh, please, if you like what you see, if you like the way uh, this is going, uh, if you want to support me for the last Twin Jammer development, please uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Uh, please leave a comment. Uh, I don't care. Just uh, roast me. Uh, do something. Um, I love to uh, interact with you guys, uh, get some feedback, get good ideas. And uh, yeah, why not? Maybe in the later future, I will pick some somebody, the best commenter or whatever, the most comments or... Whatever you want to name it, uh, can get some free keys uh, for the game when it's on Steam. So um, yeah, thanks and see you to the next one. In the next one, bye.